welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm bringing y'all an eyebrow tutorial i've had this video requested a number of times i just never did it i don't know why but since all this quarantine stuff going on i really don't have nothing to do i'm just sitting in the house so yeah i thought i'd go ahead and film eyebrow tutorial and a couple more videos that i had in mind so yeah i decided to go ahead and do that today and film the eyebrow tutorial for you guys so as always if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching i look pale uh don't mind this i'm laying my edges right now i always do my hair or my edges or whatever before i start my makeup so and I'm going to film a, um, a makeup tutorial, a get ready with me type thing after I do the eyebrow tutorial. So yeah, that's why my edges are tied up right now. But anyway, so we're going to start by taking this spoolie. Okay, you need that to do your eyebrows. So you're going to brush your, hold on. You're going to brush, brush the hairs up and then like put them back in the right position. And I don't have the thinnest eyebrows, so I really don't have to do too much filling in, which kind of sucks. Because it's kind of like the fun part, sculpting your own eyebrows. So I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to draw a line like where my eyebrow hair starts on the bottom. You want to follow the natural shape of your eyebrows unless you don't like have any eyebrows, then you kind of need to like make something happen. outlining the natural shape of my eyebrow like that and then you're gonna do the same thing on the top but you're not gonna you're not gonna go all the way over on the top so you can start like right here ish because you want that ombre effect going on over here okay Still outlining the natural shape. And then you just fill it in, which I don't have much to fill in. And you don't need dip brow pomade either. I used to think that when I first started doing makeup that you needed the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade or your eyebrows are gonna be right. And you don't, like, and this costs like not even a dollar. It costs like 90 something cents compared to that stuff, even though it do last you a long time, but this is still cheaper. But I'm just gonna lightly fill in like the areas that need filling, which isn't that much for me, so that's really all I did. And now that line that you left, you see that line that you left right there? You're gonna take your spoolie again and you're gonna brush that up to blend it out to make that ombre effect. So like your eyebrows are lighter towards your nose and then they get darker this way. And then you're just gonna brush through the rest of your eyebrows just to um, blend out the eyeliner pencil. So you don't have harsh lines. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I guess I'll just talk through it again just so y'all can just so y'all can get the idea better and see me do it again. So again, where your eyebrows start, you just wanna draw a line and trace the outside of your natural shape. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the top, but at the top, you start like right here because you want the ombre effect. You don't want too much, too much darkness going on right here. Why is my skin peeling? I literally just exfoliated. Like I have dry skin and I have to exfoliate anytime I do my makeup. Even if I don't do my makeup, I have to exfoliate my face every day because my skin just be flaking and falling off. And if I don't exfoliate, then my makeup be flaking and falling off. Like. And it's still doing it, like what the world? Anyway, so you're gonna do the same thing on top. And you're gonna start right here because you don't want it to be too dark right here. You don't need that one line um, on the bottom in this area. You don't need no line up here. This is probably so confusing because I'm like low key confusing myself. But maybe y'all can get it by just watching. So drawing a line on the top, following my natural shape. And then fill in, um, fill in the rest, or if you don't have a lot to fill in, then just fill in like the little spaces that, you know, look a little bald. But if you do have a lot to fill in, like you have 
like way thinner eyebrows than me then of course you're just gonna fill it in like all the way that's why it's really no fun for me to do my eyebrows because like my eyebrows are already so like they're not thin so i don't have much to do to them and it's just no fun so now you're gonna take your spoolie again blend upwards that line to create the ombre effect and then just brush through the rest of your eyebrows to blend out the rest of the pencil so you don't have no harsh lines because that's not cute okay boom i know it look crazy but think about makeup you gotta trust the process it's gonna look crazy at first but you gotta wait so now i'm taking my concealer uh, i'm using the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circle treatment concealer in the shade tan and you're gonna take a concealer brush and by the way if you do use dip brow pomade then of course you would use like an angled brush like this um and dip it in your pomade and then just do the same step same step with um pomade but pencil kind of looks better sometimes to me but then just because my eyebrows are already kind of full so when i use pomade it kind of makes them look too thick like too much going on pencil just makes it look less harsh on me but when i do like other people's makeup that have thinner eyebrows the pomade seems to look better on them sometimes because it's not too much going on like it's not too bold like their eyebrows aren't too bold so i'm taking my concealer brush and you're just going to clean up your mistakes and like perfect your eyebrows pretty much so and just following your natural shape or the shape that you made and just clean it up like that and then you're gonna do the same thing on the top you really don't need that much concealer like this is how much concealer i put on my brush like literally a dot so you really don't need that much so same thing on the top So boom, like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just follow the shape that you made, follow your natural brow shape. Also, another tip to get like cleaner looking eyebrows, if you have like, like your eyebrows done growing out or you have a little unibrow going on, your eyebrows look cleaner and they look better if you get those shaped up, you ever you can get them waxed or whatever. I don't do that. I don't do waxing. Uh, that don't scare me. You know, I want to try it. I'm just scared because I don't want this stuff to burn me. But um, I just shape my own eyebrows with like some of those little eyebrow razors, one of these. That's what I use to shape my eyebrows. So I just like shave off my unibrow and then I just clean up the outside, shape them up. If you want a tutorial on that, then comment down below because I'll do one. I didn't do one for this video because it wasn't time for me to do that yet because I just shaped my eyebrows like last week. So they haven't grown out enough for me to do nothing to them yet. So just follow the natural shape of your eyebrows. It's really the key. Just you need to follow the natural shape of your eyebrow. If you like raise your eyebrows, if you didn't like, if you don't have a lot of eyebrow hair going on, you can kind of see like where your arch needs to stop at when you like raise your eyebrow. Like don't overdo the arch. Don't be doing, don't be doing all that. Cause that's how people be looking messed up or like overdraw your line instead of following the natural shape of your eyebrows. Cause then your eyebrows look too big and you look stupid. And I'm tired of seeing folks looking like that.
and boom that's literally it and then when i get ready to do my makeup i just take like a blending brush and blend out my concealer so i'm gonna show y'all how i do that and then i start my makeup routine as usual yeah it's really simple i think people make it harder than it has to be but you really just have to practice it and eventually it's just gonna be nothing to you like it's gonna be so easy for you to do it you can do your eyebrows in like five minutes i feel like i needed to go more in depth but i don't know how much more in depth i could have went because it's like it's not much to say like it's not much to explain about doing your eyebrows except like the stuff i say like i don't know what else to say other than that i feel like this video gonna be real short for that reason but hopefully it'll help hopefully it helps somebody i don't know and i hope it made sense but i need some spray i usually use rose water and wet my blending brush to blend out my concealer but i'm out so i'm gonna have to use regular water so i just take my blending brush and wet it you don't need that much that's why i use this little mist um spray bottle and then just blend out your concealer and blend out those lines in the middle and up under here And then I'll just proceed with my makeup routine per usual. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have, um, like, you don't know where to stop with the tail of your eyebrow, you need to measure it with the corner of your eye. Your eyebrow should stop, line up with the corner of your eye. Like that. And then for your, the, your, what do you call this? Like your inner brow needs to just take like your brush and put it like right on the side of the bridge of your nose and it should line up right there. See? But yeah, just some extra tips. I think I probably should have mentioned while I was doing it, but just some extra tips so it's easier for y'all to know where to stop drawing if you like have to extend. So for those of you that have to extend it, you know where to stop so you don't be overdoing it. Stop overdoing it. But yeah, from here you will proceed with your makeup routine as usual. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put on some more lip gloss because Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to stay tuned for the um, makeup routine or get rid of me, whatever I'm finna film should drop. Maybe a couple days after this video, but um, stay tuned for that. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, we just hit 300 subscribers Thursday and it's Saturday now. So two days ago, we just hit 300 subscribers. <laughs> on the road to 400 thank y'all so much for the support and for subscribing because y'all have to subscribe to me y'all could be just watching my videos and not subscribing you know whatever but y'all subscribe to me and i appreciate it so on the road to 400 yeah we're just gonna keep growing keep making more videos keep putting out content and yeah so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and comment below what y'all want to see next from me any type of videos y'all want to see challenges cooking videos more clothing hauls what places y'all want clothing hauls from makeup tutorials whatever i'm open to a lot just comment below and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye